Hi dear students, welcome to Divya Zoo class. Today our topic is structure and functions of nephron. Nephron, it is otherwise called uniferous tubule. It is the functional unit of the kidney. Each kidney, it consists of uh, millions of nephrons are present. Nearly 1.5 millions of nephrons are present. Now, the nephron, it is classified into five major parts. First one, Malbigian corpus cells. After proximal convoluted tubule. Then after, headless lube. Distal convoluted tubule. Collecting duct. So first we are going to learn about Malbigian corpus cells. Malbigian corpus cells. The Malbigian corpus cells, it include a cup-shaped structure that is called Bowman capsule. Bowman capsule, it is made up of a double wall layer that is called Bowman capsule. And inside the Bowman capsule, it contains a coiled blood vessels they can call as a glomerulus. And the glomerulus, it will be connected to blood vessel. One is called afferent arteriole, that is afferent vessel. Another one, efferent vessel, that is efferent arteriole. Afferent arteriole to carry the blood into nephron. And the efferent vessel, it will be sent out of the blood into nephron. So, afferent to carry, efferent to send out. So, two also, it will be carrying the carrying and send out the blood. Here, it will be connected with the renal artery and renal vein. Because we know that the kidney it is made up of renal veins and renal arteries. Then after the Bowman capsule, it is open into proximal convoluted tubule. Then after it is open into handless loop in between, that is the first loop we can call as a descending limb, thin transfer limb and ascending limb. This three we can join and call it as a handless loop. A two distal convoluted tubule, the reabsorption process it will be takes place. After the urine, it will be collected to the collecting duct, and the collecting duct is opened into the pelvic region of the kidney, and the pelvic region is opened into the ureter. Ureter is opened into urinary bladder. After it will be opened into urine. So, urethra, it will be sent out the waste matter out of the body. For the structure and functions of the nephron, three important functions it will be occur. The first major function is filtration. So, it will be filter the blood after reabsorption. What are the materials are present in the blood? Again, it will be reabsorbed like sodium potassium, glucose, this wanted content, again it will be reabsorbed. And secretion, it will be secrete some hydrogen ions, everything, the walls, the tubules, it will be secreted. Some of them, they will ask the question, nephron, it is a cell or tissue. We know that a group of cells that is called a tissue. This nephron, it consists of number of cells. So, it is called as a tissue. Nephron is a tissue and it is open into collecting duct. This and all we know that. Per day it will be filtrate 180 liters of blood and it will be eliminate 1 to or 1.5 liters of urine out of the body. That is a normal adult person it will be eliminate like that 1 to 1.5 liters of urine out of the body. So, this is the structure of the nephron and that is the major function. What are the three major functions? Filtration, reabsorption and secretion. It will be reabsorbed the wanted material and it will be eliminate the uric acid, ammonia, creatinine, that unwanted matters. It will be eliminate out of the body. So, this is called structure and functions of nephron. If you like my channel, you can subscribe it and you can click your bell icon, you can get the notification. Thank you.